All right, folks, the deck is Tax Paladin. The goal of the deck is to use Call to Arms and Direct Thar to pull important minions from our deck that uh, make our opponent's lives difficult. So we've got Nerebar Weblord as well as Far Watch Post to slow our opponents down. And we can protect them with things like Noble Mount and Hand of a Doll so that they can either attack for more or stay on board a little bit longer. At our top end, we've got Dunbalador Bridge to buff up some of these minions as well as Light Forge Carriel for some late game value and damage reduction. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash ruffle. Alright. I'm just going to have to concede to any decks that uh, play nerfed cards. Until the update is actually launched. Encouraging people to play this deck is highly irresponsible. Why? Part of the reason to play this deck is to poop on, uh... West Hunter. Eh? Alright. Keep the Christology, look for Neophyte and uh, Watch Post and whatnot. Play your quest, please. Tough turn. How do we beat Hunter without trogs and robes? Uh, by just hitting them in the face. with the neophytes and watch posts. that gets better later, so I'm kind of just okay with that. I want to play this uh, when I'm attacking because I'm likely to get a hand of a doll right now, so I want to use that as uh, damage. Now I have to attack first. In case of explosive. They're gonna use the hero power on the watch post and that's just fine. That's what I'm looking to bait. It may be worth a um, subbing the dragon breath for robes. I don't know how many free shaman we're going to see today. Jerry, not Jay. Thank you for the two months. Hey, Raffle, here's a Christmas present to you. Also, Merry Christmas to you and chat. Wish everyone a good time. Well, thank you so much for that. And also, they did not progress their quest there. I don't think that they were necessarily anticipating that, given the hesitation that they had. So they've got one more rapid fire piece, like 
Just drawing two rapid fires is really difficult for any deck to beat. Good for next turn at least. Maybe we can hit one of those web lords and slow down the Tavish. They have a rapid fire piece, are they just waiting until next turn? That can punish them if I do hit a uh, web lord off of that. <sighs> Unbelievable. That's such a big whiff. I could have slowed them down for another turn because they held the rapid fire. What are they doing? These divine shields are kind of a problem for them. Didn't they spend all the rapid fires? No. They still had one more. like a good time to draw that. Well fought. I can see. I feel like they still had a decent chance there. My hand was kind of doo-doo. Open Herds burn decks a lot, though? Yeah, no, I understand that. Like, it's very good, but, like... Uther versus Anhilda. Hey, Decon. Arise and carry out our lady's will. I will fight with honor. Uh, just keep a mini-bot here. Web Lord's pretty good into this matchup. Down to curve. Um, still not sure about this versus. Uh, well met. Well met. Um, no brigand, at least. Can buff this. Probably a higher priority over the uh, Living Dragon Beth, just because it's so important for this matchup. Uh -huh. Oh, never mind. go here for now because this could whiff really hard and just set like a Christology which would um, not accomplish very much here.
Should it ever be worth running a deck with a Frenzied Fellow Wings, Dread, Corsair's Bridge, and, um... I think you would just do something like cute hand buff paladin with that if that way you can more consistently get zero mana minions. You've also got the new um zero mana three three. The opponent's playing Freeze Pirate Warrior is ruined. True. Hey, welcome, Danny boy. Glad you're liking the YouTube. Definitely could be a lot worse than drawing Call to Arms here. Hey, your taxes. Good cannon shot. Kind of want to protect the yuggler here. really like the update to go through. I'm going to restart and see. So it has now been about 40 minutes since it was supposed to go out. Nope. Can you believe it? The Horde and Alliance are fighting each other again. Uh, coin called arms. I am very skilled at this game. Let's. Maybe just go ahead and keep that. But I just go one into two into coin four. And then this is a good follow up because it could hit any number of good cards for me. And it's really going to be paying a lot of extra mana for these uh, Burgle cards. If I have anything to do with it. Ah! 
fun deck at rank two. I mean, like Burgle Rogue is good if you uh, <laughs> if you don't build it too greedily. Like the Wild Pod Knoll is an outrageous card. Oof. Were not necessarily the hits I was looking for. Good God. I said you were going to pay more for those burgled effects. Making me out to be a liar in front of Twitch chat. This is pretty likely to hit a... Uh, it's off curve though. I'm just gonna try and swing this back. What a weaselly little, little liar, yeah. No, that was actually, I think, two decks ago? Three? They're just Rush Hunter. All of a sudden. Or Rush Warrior, yeah. Same thing. They have a lot of battle cries, so I feel like this is likely to get decent value. Oof. And this makes it hard to get through it. Okay, it's not Reno. Oh. Oh my god, that card is so gross. The card that draws one health minions is unplayable. You mean the lion? That card is phenomenal. Put this apple on your head. True strength comes from within. Righteous protector, maybe? David, thank you for the 12 months. A year already? The Tree of Life seemed seemed so far away. Did you sub as a result of, like, calling a Tree of Life for the opponent? I think I vaguely remember that. Cess Knight. Thank you for the Prime. Got banned, too. <laughs> well, fortunately, it was only temporary. What just happened? What did I lose? Oh, the web lord. Our hardships only strengthen our resilience. Remember the fallen. Kind of running out of threats and resources like at this point the second call to arms isn't very good i need to hit the drekthar and the i don't know really make use of this hero power i suppose naria thank you for the 11 months
yeah, I don't know. The the lion does like everything that hand buff paladin does. It is very far from unplayable. So I think I don't I honestly don't know how to But to tell you if you think differently. That's actually a huge deal. I don't think I win from here. Like, I don't think it's even close. I think I'm just getting bodied right now. Like, this card doesn't... Yeah, that's just GG. Wear patch. Is Serathin better in Wild than Standard? Uh, almost certainly not. I don't think it's... A good card in either format. It was never really designed to be a good card. I just want to find Weblord as quickly as possible. Found it. We can't play it yet. I'm going to coin the protector here just to protect the, uh... <sighs> I hate that animation so much. I need to protect the web lord a bit. GG. I think you should consider Hearthstone is not science. There's always not a good card or a bad card. Sometimes it's just a matter of opinions. No, there are bad cards and there are good cards. But that's okay. We're gonna need more gunpowder. Trying to force bad cards to be good cards, I think, is a bigger mistake than not recognizing that there are bad cards and good cards. Thank you, Swag. That's pretty much exactly what I anticipated. Uh, we waffled a bit on a few changes, and we're going to revisit things in the new year. If the standard changes, Warlock and Mage in particular on your radar. Why Warlock and... Wait, what is Warlock even doing right now? That's very confusing. I think I've lost this game. Like, there isn't really a LTK, I believe. That's not a deck in Wild.
Everything is on a radar. Warlock and Major are consistently powerful. Hunter, Shaman, Warrior are very good right now as well. We'll see if the balance changes skew numbers at all. If they don't, we'll reassess. Yeah. I think that, like, I know a lot of people are going to be very mad that there weren't wild-specific changes this patch, but, like, you have to look at the context of where we are in the calendar year and understand that these were very targeted to what was going on in Standard, which is a more curated format. Um, they were probably somewhat rushed in order to... Um, you got the update? Thank you. They're rushed because they had a very narrow window of when they could release them before the holiday and after the World Championship. And it's unlikely we're going to get any balance changes until the uh, the new year because, like, they're going to be a lot of people on holiday because, believe it or not, uh, people deserve to take vacation. So I think it was, like, yeah, I'm disappointed there wasn't more for Wild um, because I think more is needed for Wild, but, like, I don't think that there was ever any expectation that they would be able to do anything for Wild on such a tight timeline after the release of um, of the expansion because things aren't, like, things aren't demon seed level of broken in Wild to where they need to act quickly. They aren't, like, Tiller or Stealer of Souls, Warlock, uh, broken that um, they needed to act that quickly. So it's like... They don't know that the expectation should be that they should pull back on it. Like, I wish they had made the changes to the quest line decks before the expansion even, but if since they didn't do it before the expansion, it's it was always going to be a ways after the expansion before they made a change just to see if, like, the new cards actually did something. Skyblood. Thank you for the 20 months. Four? 20 months? Let's go. I hope your day is going well and your holiday is refreshing. Me too. Thank you. I'm actually looking forward to uh, spending some time with family and seeing some friends. All right, no more concedes because we can just play the game out. And I can actually play my uh, Tavish again soon. Wildfire works with Frostledge Jaina now, right? Yep. And with um, the Varden hero. Are there not very many people on the patch that I can actually play with now? Is that going to be a problem? Everybody download the patch and start queuing. Hey, Hyper. What is the best deck in Wild that isn't Hunter or Warrior? Um, it was Shaman. Probably still is. Like, Hunter isn't has never been more than the uh, third best deck in the format, but don't let anyone hear me say that or they get mad. Evenlock, Evenlock has kind of fallen off a lot because Shaman bullies Evenlock. So Shaman has replaced Evenlock as like the answer to Pirate Warrior. Wildfire should also work with Sir Finley, or am I wrong? Yeah, you can make your uh, life tap deal three damage to yourself. By the holy light. That's rude. Alright, send this face. I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm no coward. Even though it can still be a thing with Wailing, yeah, but then you're carrying, like, two bad cards <laughs> for every other matchup, so I don't... Like, Free Shaman beats Evenlock more than just because it, like, can freeze the board or freeze individual minions or 
Um, it, like it also has Florgal Tox, it's just not mm. going to be a good matchup for the deck. Oof. This deck seems a lot worse when you fail to draw all to arms. Oh my god. That's not a good hit for me. I was really hoping to hit uh, another one of the buffs. I guess I could have just played this, but that would have been made for kind of an awkward rest of my turn. This can help me get the actual honorable kill here. I have given up everything. What have you This is really awkward. I think I just need Carriel to carry me. I'm getting absolutely annihilated right now. I don't know what's going on. just gonna okay I just need to hold here This is embarrassing.
I mean, at least I get the uh, Noble Mount back, right? I really want to save that uh, Cho. Oh no, that's another attacker for them, is what they're doing. Like, the bigger the numbers get, the more damage reduction I actually get here. But it's still starting to hurt quite a bit. I need to try and isolate this. Okay. Remember the fallen. Job done. Saddle up. Unless they have rush minions, it's going to be hard to get a lot of hero power value this turn. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a bad draw. Always leave the Cho on the board. Those are the rules, chat. Please don't have a Nazoth. Okay. Wait! I get that! Mine now. Monkey. Oh, I drew him already. Someone did ask where my Reno was, and maybe it's in here. Or monkey. Like we're also just kind of nearing lethal. Your wish is no! <laughs> uh, actually, there isn't a great hit for them, right? I was wrong. A lot of extra legendaries for me, but
<laughs> I kind of want to convert that into... No, I'll just get the attacker on board here. Because I might need to play this next turn. At least we can trade over that now. Wait. Wait. Unlucky. I'm one damage off. Against what is pretty clearly a Reno deck, right? Make them overdraw. There's my Reno. No! Wait. Yeah, no. That's still bad. What is going on? Remember the I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Me neither. Am I gonna die here though? Like it was obviously safer to play the Void Lord, but this is way more fun. They gain seven, so no, it's not like I die here. Likely I die here at least. to go get there Oh my god I'm almost out of cards Fight a worthy foe You can really hold your own That was the most outrageous game of Hearthstone I've played in a very long time Also, Ian, thank you for the $2 tip in Roth coin. Hey, Roth, we got some bad Pugsley news. He has gross in his liver and surgery is not an option because of his age, so I give him lots of love and keep him happy in his days going forward. That's why I'm late again. Hopefully things are well with you. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that. That's, um, that is indeed very bad news, and I, I think that it's good that you're able to give him all that you can, um, with the time that you have left with him, so I'm sorry to hear that. Versus Thompson. Shadows take you. 
Okay, call to arms early is uh, the way that we want to win here, and then Stoneheart the Vindicator is just kind of fine, so I'll pass on turn one. I don't have that many one-drops. Hey, Taskless. Well met. I mean, double called arms is going to be rough on them. It's rough on any deck, to be honest. Imagine only healing for three. Order lol. There's no good defile here, and uh, oh, Dark Skies is bad. Kind of want the Weblord down this turn. Why oh, double Living Dragon? Uh, because before the nerfs, at least, Free Shaman was one of the best decks in the format. And I don't anticipate that falling off too much. Dead. Thanks to Cariel. Look at what you've become. I must stop you. Remember the fallen. Bonk. Unbelievable. Roughly you the first streamer I ever gave something back. Thanks for the great content and stay tuned. Well, I appreciate the uh the generosity and I'm glad you're enjoying the content. Or at least I hope you are enjoying. Okay, the Dunbalder Bridge has uh, not done a whole lot, has it? The dream is to like coin it out before a call to arms, I imagine, but like I haven't had, I haven't had it <laughs> in my opener. This into this. The problem is they might have like coin battle cry minion, but this is also good for protecting the weblord. But my two drop is always a narrow bar just to slow them down a bit. Now! No deckhand. Or first mate. Well. Okay. Maybe this is the game we get the bridge online. Hey, Eggy. No first mates. Well, I can't have a first mate here, so get wrecked. Uh, 
Um... Let's go here, bump here. That makes it hard to get to the weblord still. Shira. No one plays Constructed anymore. I'm... Well, at least two people are playing Constructed right now. What? In a box? Pirate stuff. What's the definition of constructed anyway? It's uh, where you build your deck, you construct your deck even, and uh, take it into play against others who have constructed their decks. It's different from like limited in magic where you have a small amount of card pool that you draw from either like Someone with a free release or something that you or a cube that you um, pull into to make a duck I just really wanted to make sure that the Rakara was able to get down I guess but like they gave up their entire board to do so Alright, I mean, the bridge did quite a lot of work this game, but I don't know if it's going to be enough into the Juggernaut. The cards you think you needed to get nerfed but didn't? Uh, yes, but the nerfs were for standard, not for wild. So. This game. Don't come cheap. Unless I can hit Carriel. Yeah, it's got to be Carriel off the top this turn, or it's GG. I don't even know what would have saved me there. I was out of taunts. I think wild will only get changes when the standard year changes. There's nothing to indicate that that's the case. 
Um, they, in fact, they've already indicated that they're currently looking at a lot of classes in Wild. The possibilities are endless. I will fight with honor. Yeah. Keep the Drek'thar. I probably have to pitch the uh, Weblord. Other way, because he. I need Drek'thar to come down. I just go coin Drek'thar into Call to Arms. Seems alright. Okay, well, maybe that changes things. Coin Bridge into um, Drek'thar into Call to Arms. Or I could go Call to, Ar call to Arms first. Call first. And then this will be more likely to hit threes. That means I have a bit more time. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Bubble? Mass Poly incoming? Uh, Mass Poly isn't a 10 mana card. Yep. Oh! The Dragon Breath value, chat. Sound effects. <laughs> Ariel seems good here. Um, True strength comes from within. I should have just taken this attack first. I should have played Hand of Doll to set up Lethal. But if they mass poly, like it's still just Lethal. Like this doesn't do anything unless they hit something else uh, that costs 5 mana. There's that Mass Poly chat was talking about. Hey, Jack. Kind of want to find a three. It's tempting to keep this. Just because Divine Shield is so bad for them. Miss Lethal with double hand double a doll in mount. They were at six at the end of the turn, right? Double hand of a doll in mount would have been five.
unless I'm missing something. Sure. True strength comes from within. Let's get the one attack minions out of my deck. Job's done. And then that makes the called arms maybe a little more impactful. They want to keep sniping watch best, I'm fine with that. Hmm. Kinda easy for them to do, isn't it? Should have had the jugglers on the edges. Yeah, this is why. I'm trying to get my replay to load because it's not loading. Oh, that's my win condition now, I guess. to send damage to face now. Maybe could have made an argument for the weblord, but like I feel like the carryal is just coming down next turn anyway. Yeah. So the towers comes down here, which I could have prevented with the weblord. But they would have just cleared the web lord anyway, so. Our hardships only strengthen our resilience. Remember to fall in. This uh, should slow them down by a fair amount. Never mind. Watch post is um, probably a mandatory keep here, as is Christology. But I might coin the watch post. No, probably coining the all. Or I could just go watch post into watch post into Christology turn. I think I'd, I want the double watch post down because it's funny. Hey, thanks, Drew. That helps if it's Ignite. Think they'll ban all the quest lines when they rotate to wild? I don't think banning all of them is necessary. There's only like two that are relevant. Okay. Looks like either APM or um, ignite, and either way, the watch posts do a lot of work, so. Looks like APM. I just need to 
stack stats on the board. Divine shields help. Well met. Anyway, they need to d draw cards to win games, so protecting the watch post is uh, oof important. Repair. Nerfed Gray Sage Parrot. He never hurt anyone. Yeah, that's that's why he got buffed, not nerfed. Whoops, indeed. Well played. Women ready. I don't want to board lock myself when I might get frozen, so. The carrier takes care of apprentices at least. I think they hit one minion, right? The research project always been two mana? Yes. Okay, it is ignite. We do pop the block here though. And I think the carryall just kind of like locks out the uh, the ignite anyway. Our hardships only strengthen our resilience. All right, good luck. Don't have fun though. Behold the tools of creation. Oh, it says explode. Behold the tools Someday of creation. I'll be just like you. Behold the tools of creation. I'm almost out of cards. Behold the Wait. tools of creation. You're at risk of. Yeah, they just died of fatigue. If they don't kill me here. Oh, okay, never mind.
What a good hit. Unbelievable. Another happy guildy. Wait, they just killed themselves, didn't they? No, they get to play another stupid ignite. I think it's GG. Yeah, it's absolutely GG. There's nothing I can do. Remember the fallen. Ah! Everything they've done this game has been just absolutely irritating. It's just like they just can attack with the minions. That's so stupid. That's a main deck potion of Polymorph. That's not a good card in their deck that belongs in their deck, but never punished, I guess. Really glad we didn't nerf the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Might be a tech card now? No, it's it's a terrible tech card. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense in any context. Budo, thank you for the five months. Alright, early Drek'thar seems good. None will survive. Running Potion of Polymorph specifically to tech around Living Dragon Breath does not make sense because the only time Living Dragon Breath is useful is when you're a deck that plays a lot of minions, so you can play around that very easily. Like, chat, you're you're doing the thing that you always do, where because a card beat me, you're justifying it post hoc. That's not like how you make decisions. The light dims, but we
Weblord has potential here. I mean, it's very clearly a um, an explosive, right? Because it's always explosive. There's so many secrets in Wild. Yeah, second Web Lord is helpful, as is the Watch Post, because the Tavish is going to be slow to come down now. Kill that, or it's going to get to my web lords. Just want to protect the weblord because that's the important card here. Still, a fair amount of mana that they had to use. Slow them down a bit to the point where hopefully I can draw it into Karyl. Got to go face at some point, right? I think it has to be now. I think it's likely I'm just losing this game. Well, they're hero powering my minions. Yeah, this gives me carryallouts. And it's not carryall, so we're dead. Killer. Versus Valir. 
I make my own mistakes. I will fight with honor. Always keep the call, and I kind of want to pull the jugglers off the call to arms, so. Sure, this looks good. Job's done. Force the removal in this, and the sooner we play it, the more value it gets. Not entirely sure what the opponent is up to yet, but they're going kind of slow, so let's slow them down even further. There once was a man okay. from Looks like uh, Minstrel. So this cost increase is going to do some work here. Bonk. Combo is not um, battle cry, so this is less impactful, but. Um, like, I just don't want them be being able to get to the watch post right now. I think that's my important card to protect. It could also, there's a small chance it could be mill as well, but I really think it's probably just pillager. And uh, Cariel is also very good into Pillager if I can slow them down enough to get there. Warlocks were hardly touched? That's just not true. They had two of their best cards nerfed. For standard, at least. dodges the watch post, right? They're not actually drawing cards. So they're probably looking for extortion as a way to kill the watch post. This gets affected, though. But it's much be incredibly frustrating for the opponent. But to be fair... They do something quite similar to uh, opponents on the regular, so I don't feel too bad for them. Whoopsie! Yeah, it's definitely looking like a uh, villager, but they just haven't really gotten a chance to play the game because of all the taxation we've been doing. It's time to make these rogues pay their fair share.
That was fun. Being a rogue main, I take offense to that, sir. You mean a bootlicker? Oh, good. We can buff the watch post. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa. Ah, yes. The mirror match. But unironically. Alright, I need to play the spell off of this so that this is live for next turn. No demons on this board. No call to arms, please. The iron is mine. Is mine. Uh oh. Opponent's about to get the memo here. Stats! Got double juggler in here. Put this apple on your head. Hit this once, please. The light dims. Put this apple on your head. The iron is mine. Is mine. Reporting for duty. Oh! Sniper. Counter sniper? No. Not quite. Uh, 24, 6, 8, 9, and 1 damage off. So, we just uh, kill the Trogs. Maybe the Yuggler as well. I mean, I've got two shots at their face, but I don't have enough mana to hero power, or to, you know. Maybe a Juggler will hit face. Well, I can't play all of these cards, and like, I would need two Jugglers to hit face. 
off of all of this because I'm one damage off. So I think I just go this line. It's just very hard to lose from here. I don't think there's a reason to take a risk with Omayog here. Oh, that's repentance anyway. Mayflower, thank you for the three months. Thanks for the hours of entertainment. Thank you for the three months of support. I think I want to play the narrow bar over the cult neophyte here. No. Actually, because the narrow bar breaks my um, Vindicator play, so I'm just going to go here. I think it's still too early for the neophyte, but I do still want to get uh, Vindicator value. This seems like the most reliable way to do so. Well, with how slow the opponent's going, there's no way they can be APM mage, right? I was wrong. I don't get the immediate damage now, but I protect the minions, so... Hopefully I hit some watch posts off the call to arms, because I need to blow them down some. Big oof. Well, I need the watch post. Yeah, that's GG. I don't think I have a path to victory here. Hmm. No, 
not want to board lock myself. That's not worth the uh, vectors. Looks like APM. Which means adding stats is going to have an impact. Just want to add health here. Slowing down the direct R is good. Behold the tools Someday of creation. Like Someday I'll be just like Behold you. Behold the tools of creation. Behold the tools of creation. Tools of creation. Runs out on me. The only thing that can save me is a top Behold deck uh, carry on. Tools of creation. Or they draw too many. But that doesn't look like they're going to do that. How long is the turn? A uh, minute and a half, the same as everyone else's. The animations just take time to catch up. Don't worry though, Chad. I read on Reddit that Sorcerer's Apprentice is not the actual problem with uh, Mage. It's uh, in fact Ignite, as you can see from that game. Uh, Ignite was definitely the problem there. So nerf ignite so that uh, that deck doesn't exist anymore. I concede uh, they ran out of damage and I was able to either they didn't have another ice block or I was able to kill them on the backswing, I don't know. With just a few more spells? Yeah, but they didn't necessarily have a few more spells, right? And I could clear. I don't know. I'll have to ask the opponent, not me. But like, just because they only needed a few more spells doesn't mean they have a few more spells to play. I need the uh, web lord. Found it. I think I coin it out because that makes it very hard for them to play a pirate this turn. kind of rough on my curve because I don't but like it slows them down enough to absolutely be worth now we can protect it next turn I can go either here and here or here and here I don't think the watch post is going to do enough though because Okay. 
you need things that can attack, so the watch post isn't helpful here. Oh, this is such... So I think I have to hold here now. I need the buff this turn. True strength comes from within. Oh, oh, what a bad hit. Hey, catch. Repent. Uh, I can go bridge next turn, bridge into weblord or bridge into neophyte and then go uh, protector weblord behind it. Yeah, this is... Unfortunately, they still get their big turn because they've been just holding on to these uh, pirates for so long. I'm in desperate need of Cariel here, though. Glory. I'm here for the gold. GG. Believe in yourself. It has to be this, because like I need their whole turn to be Cariel here, or I need them to trade into this. Aggressively. Okay. They left a 2 1 on the board instead of 2 2s. I don't feel like that whole board was worth a hero power, was it? Hit Gore Helm. Blood and Blunder. Carry all off the top. Not even close. I'll be mine. I will fight with honor. 
Uh, keep the call. Keep one Christology here. Neophyte seems alright as well. Let's try and sneak this out, maybe. It's ambitious, but I would rather use the Neophyte to protect my board rather than, um, like, protect the Call to Arms cards. Your wish is my suggestion. Yeah. Need a Dunbalder Bridge, then. Lucky. Need to protect the narrow bar here if it's Reno because they need. Ugh. How much for that? Well, let's try again, I guess. Job done. Omerick, thank you for the prime. From the void I come. And Zaro, thank you for the prime. Gonna have a hard time with uh any big demons here. Avenger, thank you for the prime. Actually, the nut draw here. True strength comes from within. Those are actually terrible hits off of the juggler. Like, that's devastatingly bad. Uh, as was the Christology off of the Vindicator. Like, that was an abysmal turn, aside from drawing the uh, Weblord. It's twice as likely to hit the Noble Mount. They don't have a way to make a two for a defile, though. Okay. Well, that is something I'm quite grateful for. Theoretically, we have lethal. Just with the carry so even if we get cleared here, we're fine. So, like, there's no concern about playing around Defile. It'd have to be Defile plus. And the Defile plus would both have to not be reduced because it probably needs to be Defile Reno. And they've had a lot of cards get increased here. Yeah. 
Annoying, but not the end of the world. And GG. Cariel is just so good. Alright, I think that's enough of that deck. I'm going to uh, swap decks and be right back. 